നമ്മളിൽ ഭൂരിഭാഗം ആളുകൾക്കും പുസ്തകം വായിക്കാൻ മടിയുണ്ട് ഞാനും നിങ്ങൾ ഉൾപ്പെടുന്ന ഭൂരിഭാഗം ആളുകൾക്കും വായിക്കുക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഭയങ്കര ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ആയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു ടാസ്ക്കാണ് നമുക്ക് തീരെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇല്ലാത്തൊരു വസ്തുവാണ് എന്നാൽ പുസ്തകം വായിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മുടെ അറിവ് കൂടും എല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഞാൻ ഒരു ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് പുസ്തകത്തിൻ്റെ രണ്ടോ മൂന്നോ പേജുകൾ വായിക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ എടുത്തിട്ടുള്ളത് പൗലോ കോയിലോൻ്റെ ദ ലൈക്ക് ദ ഫ്ലോയിങ് റിവർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞൊരു പുസ്തകമാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഇതിനകത്ത് ഇന്നത്തെ ഒരു സ്റ്റോറിയാണ് ഇൻ എ ബാർ ഇൻ ടോക്കിയോ ടോക്കിയോയിലെ ഒരു ബാറിൽ എന്നുള്ള ഒരു കഥയാണ് വരുന്നത് രണ്ടര പേജ് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ ഈ ഈ ഒരു സ്റ്റോറി അപ്പോൾ വലിച്ചു നീട്ടുന്നില്ല ദസ് എസ് ജിജു തോമസ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ നീങ്ങി ഒരു ചുവന്ന സ്വിച്ച് കാണുന്നുണ്ടോ ഡോൺ റീഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് വാച്ച് ദ ജാപ്പനീസ് ജേർണലിസ്റ്റ് ആസ്ക് ദ യൂഷ്വൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹു ആർ യുവർ ഫേവറേറ്റ് റൈറ്റേഴ്സ് and i give my usual answer george amado george louis borges william blakes and henry miller the interpreter looks at me in amazement henry miller then she realizes that it is not her role to ask questions and she carries on interpreting at the end of the interview i ask her why she was so surprised by my response was it perhaps because henry miller is not considered to be politically correct he was someone who opened up a vast world for me and his books have energy and vitality rarely found in contemporary literature no i'm not criticizing henry miller i am a fan of his too she said did you know that he was married to a japanese woman Of course I knew I'm not ashamed to be enough of a fan to want to find out everything about a writer and his life I went to a book fair once just to meet George Amado I traveled 48 hours in a bus to meet Borges and it was my fault that I didn't because when I saw him I froze and couldn't say a word I rang the bell of John Lennon's apartment in New York. The doorman asked me to leave a letter explaining the reason for my visit and said that John Lennon would phone me but he never did. I had plans to go to Big Sur to see Henry Miller but he died before I had saved enough money for a trip. The Japanese woman is called Hoki. I said proudly I also know that there is a museum of his watercolors in Tokyo. Would you like to meet her tonight? What a question. Of course, I would like to meet someone who once lived with one of my idols. I imagine she must receive visitors and requests for interviews from all over the world. After all, she lived with Miller for nearly 10 years. Surely, she won't want to waste her time on a mere fan. but if the translator says it's possible i had better take her word for it the japanese always keep their word i spend the rest of the day anxiously waiting we get into a taxi and everything starts to seem very strange we stop in a street where the sun probably never shines because the railway viaduct passes right over it The translator point to a second rate bar on the second floor of a crumbling building. We go up some stair, enter a deserted bar and there is Hockey Miller. To conceal my surprise, I exaggerated my enthusiasm for her ex-husband. She takes me to a room in a back where she was created a little museum, few photos, two or three signed watercolors. a book with dedication written in it and nothing more she tells me that she met him when she was studying for an ma in los angeles and that in order to make ends meet she used to play piano in a restaurant and sing french song in japanese miller had surprised her once and loved the song he had spent much in his life in paris They went out in a few times and he asked her to marry him. I see that there is a piano in the bar as if she was returning the, to the past to the day when they first met. 
She tells me some wonderful stories about their life together, about the problems that arose from the differences in their ages. Miller was over 50 and Hockey not yet 20. <laughs> About the time they spent together, she explains that the heirs from his other marriage inherited everything, including the rights to the books, but that this doesn't matter because the experience of being with him is outweighed any monetary compensation. I asked her to play the same song that first caught Miller's attention all those years ago. She does this with tears in her eyes and sings autumn leaves. The translator and I are moved to the bar and the piano voice of that Japanese woman echoing through the empty room, not caring about the success of the other ex-wives or the rivers of money that must flow from Miller's book or the international fame she could be enjoying now. There was no point in squabbling over the interference love was enough she said at last sensing what we were feeling yes in a light of what complete ex absence of bitterness or rancor i think love really was enough this is the story called in a bar a tokyo Apo Pustakam Vai Gamadi Lala Kuendite, Ada the story made the wind and origin, Nani, Namaskaram, Idin Munbatu, Sheshola story, Kana, the Aragon and the Nigle, description, playlist, Lingi and Gurti Tinde, Apo Ada the video Kana origin, thus says Shiju Thomas signing off. Take care, bye bye.